Did you play Jordan for money at all? Oh, you used to play for him all the time? Why would you play golf if you don't play it for money? Well, Mike won't play unless it's for money, right? No question. But how much... Now, did, how many strokes did you get, first of all? Because Jordan is, what, a four? I, back when I was a good player, I think I only got, like, a couple of sides. Okay, so you yeah. get two aside, and he's a four in your Yeah, name. and when we pretty much, when I could play, it was pretty much even. But I tell you what, I've never been under more pressure. I apologize, <laughs> I, I apologize to Michael for saying this. Uh, so we'd be playing golf with certain people, and we'd be playing a couple hundred dollars a hole, nothing but... And he'd be playing some guy for, like, $100,000. <laughs> I like, he's like, Charles, pick that up. I'm like, just put this for $200. He's like, pick that up, Charles. Get out of my way. You're in my line. I said, well, how much is that put for? He's like, $300,000. I said, let me get out of your line. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you like, seriously, it was crazy, man. They were paying for, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars. It was crazy. But does he have to have that much? I mean, he's so competitive. That if you're playing for a couple of hundred, that... That's chump change, we call it in the hood. Yeah. You know, I, I, I never understood why they were playing for that much. I mean, because, like, and first of all, let's be real. He got so much money, a couple yeah. hundred thousand dollars ain't a lot to him. But even if you're playing blackjack or whatever you're doing, it feels like, hey, we're only going to be playing for 10 grand a hand. Yeah. Well, that's not enough. I think I developed that problem a few years ago. Well, when I went to Vegas, I won a million dollars. I probably won a million dollars five times, but I probably lost a million <laughs> 25 <laughs> times. So I developed this nervous thing, uh, not nervous thing, I developed this thing where I had to win a million. So I quit gambling for like two years, and I was talking to my close friends. I said, man, I sure miss gambling. They said, well, you should gamble. You just shouldn't be an idiot. And I said, and my friends have carte blanche to tell me in it, honestly, because... The key to being successful, you have to have a good people around you. And my friend says, dude, you're just an idiot when you gamble. Like, you'll be up $600,000, and we're like, Charles, quit. Yeah. Let's go have fun. <laughs> and you're like, no, I got to get to a million. And then you lose that six hundred, and then you lose your credit. So they said, so now when I go gamble, I just go to have fun. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.